Seeing what a disaster the AMD RX 6500 XT was, new budget AMD graphics cards have been about as highly anticipated as World War 3. Yet, here we go again, because AMD recently released the strangest card yet this generation, the Radeon RX 6400. And yes, it's even worse than the 6500 XT, but given its super low NSRP and the fact it is low profile, it can still find a few useful people, right? Well, sadly, not really. If you're just a budget gamer who just needs any GPU right now, then sadly this card has a few compromises that will most likely impact how much gaming performance you're getting out of it. Firstly, the memory situation is as bad as with the 6500XD, seeing how it still uses only 4 gigs of GDDR6 memory on a 64-bit bus. No, you haven't just gone back in time, that is still a 2022 graphics card. But things get even worse for gamers, because overclocking is locked down on its graphics card. Though, for whatever reason, it still has 12 ray accelerators for gaming, even though I can't imagine any game that would run well with ray tracing on such a graphics card, apart from maybe something like Quake 2 RTX. So no, this card won't be great for gaming, but hey, seeing how it's low profile, it could be a great little media PC card, right? Right? Ah, how cute. Let me crush your dreams there. Because not only does it have 4 gigs of VRAM, not only does it have no overclocking support, but also it lacks H.264 and H.265 encoding along with AV1 decoding, which depending on what you want to do with your media PC can be super limiting. Pretty much the only good things this card has going for it is the fact that it is low profile and also so low power it doesn't require any additional PC power connectors. It literally takes all its power from the motherboard. Yeah, that's the kind of card we're talking about here. But if you still want to buy this card for whatever reason, a link to it is going to be down in the video description below. And let me know what you think of this very particular graphics card down in the comments below. But hey, if you like this video and you want to help me make more awesome content in the future, then the best way to ensure that will happen is to support the channel on Patreon. Because even just one singular dollar a month truly goes a long way while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so so much support truly goes a long way. Down there you also can find our Discord server if you can talk to me or us at this or whatever else really, our merch store and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Good. Bye.